Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my Neo 2 boss walkthrough guides. And in this guide I'm going to be showing you how to defeat Saito Yoshitatsu. Now this boss is fairly easy once you know the trick to how to defeat him. And the trick is to basically keep running in a circle away from him and wait for him to do a few strikes. Uh, when he ends his combo then hit him once and then keep running away. Uh, watch out for that move, it is, I uh, think it's a one hit kill, it's a one shot move, so yeah definitely don't get hit by that. Um, and the same thing applies when he goes into this yokai form. Just keep running away, wait for him to do a few attacks and then go in and hit him. See, he still does another hit. I thought that was the end of the combo so I went in to hit him once. Uh, now I do believe I accidentally go into yokai form when I try and do a burst counter. Yeah, I try and burst counter this. But instead of pressing R2 in the circle, I press triangle in the circle. But yeah, my yokai form doesn't last long, so I get struck by his hammer three times. But he was staggered, uh, ran out of key, so I was able to get a critical on him. Oh, it's not a one one shot that's close to it. So yeah, if you can, don't get hit by that. I remember it's a similar move that another samurai did in uh, Neo 1. So just keep employing the strategy of running away and striking once. You can try and block that. Now this yokai phase is a bit trickier than the other one. It's a lot harder. Um, I couldn't actually even hit him in this phase, uh, every time I tried to get in close he would just throw his uh, sword at me, so I'm not really sure how to attack him in this phase, so what I did is I just waited for it to end basically, so you can either just run in a circle dodging these sword attacks or just block them with L1, and that is the easiest way, it's uh, a bit tricky hitting him. He would just redirect his attack, correct his, um, you could burst counter that move I suppose. There might be a way to get in close but it's, I mean it's, it's pretty ridiculous how, like look at that. So what I recommend is just don't even attack, don't bother attacking him, just wait for this phase to end. And then once this phase ends uh, you can go back to attacking him regularly, but he will have some new moves. Uh, these new moves are sort of uh, projectile attacks. Now uh, there's that move. There's also a water projectile and a that move which you can uh, block and a flame projectile. Now when he throws a fireball the ground will ignite and damage you so you have to dodge it but you can just block the water projectile attack and once again just employ the same strategy of running away and attacking okay so it does actually go through your guard the water attacks so you do take damage if you're blocking it but obviously not as much damage if you weren't So once again the same strategy, you can hit him in this phase, it's easier to hit him. You just want to be careful of your key. Now at this point I'm out of heals. And my health is pretty low so I use a uh, yokai move. You can burst counter that if you want. Um, I mean the risk of burst countering his moves to getting hit is probably not worth it. And there you go, I got the uh, depleted stamina with the critical hit at the end. So yeah, um, so just keep employing that strategy if you're finding it difficult. And yeah, I hope this guide helped you guys. And hope you have a great day. Peace out. Cheers.